Hey, and welcome to day 17. It's going to be all about the hips. So I invite you to grab a strap. If you don't have a strap available, then what I have been using and offering to clients is just a bed sheet or a long beach towel. If you were to fold it into maybe four times, just that way it's not too, too thick and kind of narrow, then that works perfectly fine. So anything that you have lying around is perfectly fine. I have a strap, so I'm going to be using that. So for now, let's come down onto our mats, sitting cross-legged, or however feels comfortable to you. Taking out any extra flesh from your sit bones, just to really notice your sit bones right onto your mat, and allow yourself to close your eyes. Just bring your attention into this moment. Morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you find yourself in, just bring attention to that. In the moment that you are in, notice how your body is feeling. You may not necessarily be super keen on stepping onto your mat right now, and that's perfectly fine. I applaud you for making the point of coming onto your mat. It's in these moments that we find that yoga can make quite the difference in our body and mind. That's when yoga begins to work in our system. When we want to either get out of the uncomfortable pose, or maybe even kicking and screaming, we're making a point of doing our practice. That's when we most need it. This practice is not meant to be sweaty. It's not meant to be like a power class. It's simply meant for you to bring a little more awareness towards your hips and your lower body. Setting that intention for yourself. Gently begin to draw your hands together in front of your heart and with your exhale, bowing down towards your heart. Deep, long inhale right where you are. Exhale fully. Inhale, begin to lift your chin up as you release your palms to your sides and blink your eyes open. Grabbing a hold of your strap, come all the way down onto your back. Placing your right foot down, keeping that knee facing up. Unravel your strap. And from here, placing your strap right on your left heel. So you're not wanting to place it right in the middle or towards your toes, it's right on the heel. And with your next exhale, begin to press your foot up towards the sky. Relaxing your shoulders down your back and placing your elbows onto your mat. So staying right here, you're grabbing that strap and really pressing it down on your heel. So you may be noticing a bit of a lengthening in the back of your left leg. Straightening out your leg is not a requirement. So if you'd like to bend into that knee or if this is where you find yourself at today, that's perfectly fine. <clears throat> Begin to press your left foot up. That honking sound is mossy. I think he has something in his throat, so you may be hearing him throughout today's practice. And that's the thing with a home practice. Many times we kind of want to create this really quiet space and just move our way outside of everything that makes home home. 
And it's one of the things that I encourage you to let go of. Let go of the stress and the pressure of trying to create this perfectly quiet, zen-like space for yourself before you can actually practice yoga. But rather, invite all of these sounds. Invite your puppy honking at the side of the, of the room. As you continue to press down slowly, begin to draw your leg a little closer in towards you. And from here, grabbing a hold of your strap with your right hand, so letting go of your left hand, and with your next exhale, begin to open up that left leg over towards the left, simply making sure to stop the moment your right hip begins to lift off of your mat. So you're wanting to keep your right hip on your mat. So opening up wide and staying there. You're wanting to draw your belly button in towards your spine, so still connecting with your, your lower back, connecting with your core. Pressing your right foot down. And from here on your next inhale, coming back to center. Good. Bending into your left knee and unstrapping your leg. Staying where you are, I'm just simply turning around. From here, placing your left foot down and strapping your right leg. Right at the heel, flexing into your toes and relaxing your shoulders down your back. So you're basically drawing that femur bone, your thigh bone, in towards its socket or into its socket more so than anything. And just stay here, breathing deeply into your belly and exhaling fully, relaxing those shoulders, and drawing your right leg a little closer in towards you. Continuing to breathe. Little more, pressing down. Noticing that connection with your left foot on your mat. Pressing down, and just staying here. Breathing into your belly. Continue with that breath. From here, grabbing your strap with your left hand and releasing your right. Having that connection with your left hip and with your next exhale, opening up towards the side. So notice that it's a controlled move. You're not simply opening up and just seeing kind of where it falls. You're wanting to continue with that left foot pressing down, left knee faces up. Now, if you'd like to bend into that right leg, you can go ahead and do that, not a problem. Really just simply noticing the opening of your right hip. And with your inhale, slowly coming back to center. Bending into that right leg and releasing your strap. Placing your strap to the side. Just find yourself still on your mat like so. And placing your feet together. And from here with your next exhale, come all the way down onto your mat. Relaxing those shoulders down your back and continuing to open up wide with the knees. 
If this feels too uncomfortable to you and you have a block or something that can help lift the earth up towards your knees, you can always kind of wedge them in and that way your legs feel a little bit more supported. So maybe drawing your feet a little in towards you, just really noticing kind of like that opening in your inner thighs, relaxing those shoulders onto your mat and breathing into your belly. Pressing your toes together. We're only here for maybe three more breaths. You can place your palms on your belly just to notice how your breath is coming right into your belly button. And with every exhale, drawing your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Inhale. Exhale. As you place your palms outside of your legs, gently draw them in towards each other and come all the way up to seated. Taking your left leg out and wide like so. So I'm just going to face you. So taking your left leg out wide and placing your right foot towards the inside of your left leg. As you lengthen, reach your chest forward and up and drawing that left kneecap in and from here slowly begin to walk your palms further forward relaxing those shoulders down your back and hold you're going to be noticing a lengthening along the inside of your left leg you can stay up high or come a little bit further forward pressing your palms down reaching your chest forward and hold here Breathing in between your shoulder blades, expanding your rib cage towards the sides. Flexing into your left toes. Continuing to draw that left kneecap up. For one more breath. Inhale, slowly coming back to center, and we'll get that on the right. So extending your right leg out, left foot comes in. Inhale, reaching with the chest, and as you exhale, begin to walk forward with your palms, reaching that chest forward and look forward. Flexing into your right toes and drawing that right kneecap in. Come a little closer down if you'd like. Those arms are working, so you're pressing your palms down and reaching your chest forward. From here in your next inhale, slowly coming back to center. Good. Come up into a tabletop position. Palms underneath your shoulders. Knees underneath your hips. Inhale, reaching your chest forward. Exhale, pressing your palms down and back. Inhale, reach forward into cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, coming back to center, taking your knees out wide, sink all the way back into an extended child's pose for one breath, simply. 
as you exhale fully. On your next inhale, gliding into Cobra. So you're coming out low, untuck your toes, lift up Cobra. Good. Exhale, coming back down, placing your elbows underneath your shoulders. Kneecaps lift, look forward, and like so. On your next exhale, right forearm comes parallel to the short edge of your mat. And from here, begin to draw your left leg in towards you, so bending into your left leg, reaching your left arm forward. Exhale as you circle back and grab a hold of your left foot. So you're kind of opening up here from the chest, feeling a lengthening in the back of your legs and your left thigh. If you have a strap, go ahead and grab a strap and kind of wrap your left foot around. With your next exhale, slowly release back down. And we're gonna get that on the other side. So left forearms comes parallel. Inhale, drawing your right heel in. As you exhale, circle back, grab a hold of your, left, your right foot. Holding here. So avoid collapsing into this pose with your upper body. Reach that chest forward and look up. As you exhale, slowly release back down. Palms come underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes in. Exhale, lift up into a low plank. And from here, coming onto your knees into a thunderbolt. So turning over towards you. With your next exhale, releasing your right leg along the length of your mat, keeping that hip over top of your left knee. Deep, long inhale, reaching your arms all the way up, pressing down with your right foot, and with your next exhale, leaning over towards the left, lengthening out wide, 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 reaching the chest forward and hold. Inhale back to center. We're going to get that on the left. So from here, keeping that right hip over top of your hip knee, pressing that left foot down. Deep, long inhale, hone in towards the center, reaching your arms up. With your next exhale, lean over towards the right and reaching that left arm over. Chest lifts and hold. Inhale back to center. Palms come along the front of your mat. Step back, downward facing dog. From here, inhale, stepping your right foot forward. Left knee comes down. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up above. Outer hips come in. Reach, reach, and sink a little deeper in those hips. With your exhale, palms come along the inside of your right foot, walking your right foot towards the edge of your mat, and hold here. I like to come up onto my fingertips. It just feels nicer on my back, but you can always come down onto your palms and reach. You're still drawing that right hip in, left hip forward. Chest reaches. As your palms come down, step back, downward facing dog. And we're going to get that on the left. So gently walk out your dog. As you inhale, step in your left foot forward. Right knee comes down. Finding that stability in your lower body. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Relaxing those shoulders down your back. Lengthen up in your upper body. 
As you exhale, palms come along the inside of your left foot and walking your left foot towards the edge of your mat. Holding here. You can either come up onto your fingertips as you look forward. For one more breath. Palms come down, step back into downward facing dog. With your next exhale, knees come down, shift forward into plank. Deep long inhale here, reaching your neck forward. As you exhale, begin to lean back as if you're wanting to sit on your heels. Inhale, gliding into cobra. Pressing your feet down and lift. Exhale as you come down. Elbows come right underneath your shoulders. Pressing your palms down, lifting your chin. Continuing to press the tops of your feet on your mat so that your kneecaps lift. As you exhale, palms come down. From here, slowly lift your way up and moving into a wide child's pose. Toes touch and slowly sink in. We're only here for maybe about three to four breaths. So just slowly catching your breath. We started out slow. Picked up the pace. Now we're winding down. Your next inhale, very slowly come up. Pressing your palms down, tuck your toes in, and moving into downward facing dog. As you inhale, right leg lifts all the way up towards the back. With your exhale, drawing your right knee towards the outside of your right wrist. So you can either make it so that it's, your shin is parallel to the short edge of your mat. However, this is something that you would want to move into, so practice towards it. If you'd like, draw your right heel underneath your left hip and hold. Untuck your left toes. Allow yourself to lift up a little bit. Now, if you're noticing that you're kind of collapsing over towards the right, grab a hold of your block and kind of wedge it right underneath your hip. I'm just staying here for maybe two more breaths. You're pressing down on that left foot. As you exhale, palms come down, tuck your back toes in, lift all the way back into a three-legged dog and placing your right foot down. We're gonna get that on the left. So as you inhale, begin to lift your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, left knee along the outside of your left wrist. Left heel underneath your right hip, untuck your right toes and hold here. Pressing your fingertips down, look up, reaching that chest forward. So allowing yourself to relax in that left hip. As you place your palms down, tuck your back toes in, 
Inhale, lifting your left leg up above and coming back down. Good. Bending deeply into both of your knees. Look up at your hands and gently walk forward, fold forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale as you release, bending deeply into those knees. Come all the way down onto your back, drawing your knees in towards your chest and giving them a nice tight squeeze. Drawing your kneecaps in towards your armpits and grabbing a hold of your feet. Pressing your feet up high and gently rock from side to side. Relaxing those shoulders down your back. Option to kind of stretch out both of your legs. It's, I'll leave that up to you, it's totally up to you. As you rock from side to side. With your inhale, drawing your knees in towards each other. Placing the soles of your feet down, keeping those knees bent. Palms alongside your body, deep, long inhale. Begin to lift those hips off of your mat. Back of your head presses down and lifting your chin. Exhale as you release back down. We're gonna do that one more time. Deep, long inhale, lifting your hips off of your mat. Really noticing a bit of a lengthening along your thighs and into your belly, so around the psoas muscle here. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale as you release back down, taking your heels towards the corners of your mat, relaxing down, turning your palms facing upwards, deep long inhale into your belly. Exhale fully through your mouth. One more time, inhale into your belly. Exhale, release. Taking this time to really connect to yourself, to your breath, normalizing your breathing. Bringing in that oxygen into your system renewing that blood flow, letting your body simply relax into the space, letting your feet fall where they may, so really give them a little bit of a wiggle, relaxing here, letting go of any control that you may still be holding on to. Giving yourself this moment in time, in space, for you. Avoid standing up right away. Avoid getting into the groove of everything right away. Taking this time in Shavasana to really put it all together. We've done the breathing. We've done the physical movement with each pose. Let's bring it all in towards the mind, the mental benefits. Relaxing your neck muscles and relaxing those shoulders. Letting go of any tension in the muscles of your face. Simply let all of that go. Now I invite you to continue here for the next maybe three, four, five minutes you'd like to place a timer whenever you're ready just begin to take deeper inhales into your belly waking up the body wiggling your fingers wiggling your toes 
Begin to reach your arms towards the back of the room and pointing your toes towards the front. As you exhale, rolling over onto your right side, using your right arm as a pillow, coming into a fetal position for a quick second with your left palm, pressing your left palm down, keeping your eyes closed, and with your exhale, lift all the way up to seated. From here, drawing your hands together in front of your heart and gently bowing down towards your heart. Bringing forward at least one thing you are most grateful for today. And once you have that vision in front of you, smile towards it with a light heart. On your next inhale, slowly begin to lift your chin up and blink your eyes open. Thank you so very much for coming onto your mat today and joining me in this practice. I wish you all the very best for today, tomorrow, and every day after. Have a wonderful day.